Hello everyone, I am here to present you the two new functions that we have introduced in Business Developer. The feature is the JSON parsing and JSON generate. These two functions will work in collaboration with COBOL statements. So whenever we do JSON generate and JSON parsing, the corresponding COBOL statements will be generated which is the which is how the RBD has been designed for. But before that, before moving further, I just like to brief everyone about what JSON would be. So for that, you can refer to JSON.org. It gives you the basic structure of how the JSON would look like. What are the different type of data elements it can carry or what kind of information it can carry. How data would look like into this, into a JSON string and so on. Now there are comparisons between JSON and XML. So you can refer to multiple pages present on Google. Uh, just to brief you, uh, the one that I preferred was this one. There are certain advantages of JSON over XML like it supports array whereas XML doesn't and JSON is comparatively lighter to use. With the advancement in uh, managing the data or exchange of data, JSON has been now a preferred mode. Now going back to the program, how we have introduced it or how are we going to use an e these two mechanisms in EG so here is a small program with a very basic case we have created a student record over here uh, which has name address age standards and marks that a student would have so in order to generate a JSON we have first initialized the object one of this record we have populated all the information of uh, all the member variables here now this is a new function convert to JSON which is available under service lib library. You have to invoke this and pass the object. So the output of this would be transferred into a JSON string. So here the JSON string is nothing but a object of a string data type. So this field will have the entire JSON string that has been displayed over here as JSON str. Now this is one part which is only about generation. Now further if we move, we see that same service under same service lib dot library, we have another function which is called convert from JSON. This function, what it would do is, it will take the input as JSON string, what has been generated by our program over here, or if somebody else is uh, also provides. So that has to be an input and object three is basically the uh, object into which all the parse data would get stored. Once this is successfully processed, we see that object three has been populated with all the relevant information here. Now going to COBOL func statement here, let's just see how it uh, generates. So for convert to JSON, JSON generate is the COBOL corresponding JSON statement that gets generated. Similarly, if we search for JSON parse, is going to be the corresponding COBOL statement which is going to pass the input which is JSON string and it will uh, process it and will populate the corresponding output uh, object that we have provided. Now going back to the main program, I have already uh, generated a COBOL for this and have executed the program. Now if we go to the mainframe side, this is how the output would look like. So here in the JSON string, you would see that the JSON has been generated. The array object has also been handled. And when we do the parsing, the corresponding object, we used OBJ3 in our Egypt program. So we have successfully able to parse it and are able to display it over here. So this uh, whole video is about showcasing the simple case. We will have more videos which will eventually build up more onto the same example with more complex case. Please feel free to post your queries on uh, EGL forum. We will be there to help you out. Thank you.